Scorpio. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are having a great birthday season. This reading, as promised, is your career and finances reading. Now, every time I sit down here and I'm like, okay, we're going to do career and finances. Love wants to pop its big head out. So let's just see what comes out for you. Let's hope it, it's career, finances, money, bills, car, house. What do you have for us, God and angels? What does Scorpio need to know about their career and finances? All right. What'd I say? What'd I say? <laughs> what I say? Okay, okay, okay. All right. So the Knight of Cups represents emotions, feelings, love towards your happiness. You're trying to get clear about what next steps to take, where you want to move forward. For a lot of you guys, you could be dealing with a broken heart or you could be actually rejecting love, you know, kind of reprioritizing love. Um, the five of cups also says to me that a lot of you guys are scared and afraid of maybe failing, uh, being disappointed. Um, so now your mind is on your money and your money is on your mind. You got the knight of swords. Wow. Two knights. And those are pretty fast moving knights. Also with the nine of wands with the sun card. Oh, angels are wanting you guys to focus on your happiness. Now, when you say to me, okay, Alex, what does the, my happiness have to do with love, have to do with money? Um, well, you need some, so some sort of positive vibrations out there to help, you know, your kind of business and financial ventures, right? So your vibrational frequency is still, still very important, especially when it comes to love. Now with the seven of pentacles and the chariot, this is you guys like thinking and planning and, you know, um, assessing what you currently have and then trying to find a path forward. But I feel like, again, a lot of you guys are being inspired by your, your money and moving forward because again, in the love department, things may not be going so great. Um, this to me, the six of wands and the nine of pentacles kind of said it feels like a universal sweet spot. So it's almost like for those of you guys who have a little extra money, a little extra time to kill six of wands to me also kind of represents, um, the timing to maybe take some time to yourself, especially those of you who've been having a hard time in life during Scorpio se season, having a hard time with love. You know, this kind of says to me, maybe it's time to just kind of kick back and relax and enjoy, you know, the money you're making or before you move ahead with this beautiful business venture or with this new job, this new promotion, whatever it is, this kind of says, yeah, maybe you want to take a short trip and just, um, spend some time, energy and money, spend it on yourselves. <clears throat> Ace of Swords and the Lover's Card, right? Since this is a financial reading, that Lover's Card is being clear and being in alignment about what it is that you want to do next, especially financially. Um, and that's a part of this planning and thinking and processing and analysis that a lot of you guys um, have going on. Not only that, but with the Lover's Card, that also says to me, follow your heart, right? I spoke to a couple of people, um, you know, just in just doing my readings. Right. And, you know, probably 99% of us are doing work that we have to do to pay the bills. Oh, well, I'm good at it. Or, oh, you know, my sister was in it or, oh, you know, I'm working at, you know, me and my mom have a business or me and my dad are in business. I really do feel like this ACE of swords and the lovers card 
it's almost like we want you, we God Angels Universe, are wanting you guys to connect with your inner passions, inner thoughts. What are you clear about? What is it that, say for instance, as a child, um, you, you kind of mentioned, oh, when I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer. When I grow up, I want to be an interior, des uh, interior designer. This t card says to me that for a lot of you guys, it's time to fall in love. It's time to fall in love with what it is that you want to do, what it is that makes your heart sing. Um, but angels are saying, well, yeah, that brings them joy and is ha it, it, um, it makes them happy. But with the nine of wands, a lot of them are tired or a lot of you guys are in business. A lot of you guys are working these jobs. And to an extent, it's almost like you can't find your way out. You can't find your way um, to your happiness. For a lot of you guys, you can't see the light at the end of that tunnel because you've built up all of these barriers. You may have a lot of debt. You may have a lot of people you're responsible for. This nine of wands is screaming to me because it's almost like, um, how did you paint yourself into a corner, Scorpio? And not only that, but your happiness is right on the other side of those wands, by the way. But it's almost like, yeah, now we're going backwards with the Knight of Cups and also the Knight of Swords. It just kind of feels like go for it, right? Now, again, I'm not saying to you guys, quit your job, you know, pack up all of your stuff and live your dream. Um, but I do feel like the universe's message here is saying, um, follow your heart, right? The Knight of Cups, follow your heart. Where's that horse leading you? Where are you delivering that cup to? What business, what clientele, what is it that you have to offer, say for instance, to humanity or society, or again, to that client base? For a lot of you guys, it's, it's through counseling, it's through talking, it's through you know, uh, psychology, it is helping, it is speaking to people, it's igniting people, it's inspiring people. A lot of a lot of Scorpios, a lot of people are light workers. I think there are more light workers than you would actually believe. And that light worker to me is just somebody who helps to inspire and or enlighten their fellow man. Not only that, but just as I said that, I feel like a lot of you guys have just had an aha moment. It's like, yeah, I could start this or yeah, I could do that. Now, the pandemic as crappy as it was and the job that it did on us as a people connecting with one another especially physical connection what the pandemic has also done right was teach us more about how to connect electronically so these days especially when it comes to starting a business or you know, starting a hobby or doing something that you love, your heart's desire, baby, it could just be as simple as creating a YouTube page or a YouTube channel, uh, purchasing a free or signing up for a free Zoom account. Now, yeah, remember I said it's free, right? So at the end of the day, my question would be here again, Scorpio, what's really holding you back, right? These nine of wands, are the excuses? Yes, we talked about the fear, fear of failure, being afraid to kind of quote unquote, get out there and fall on your face. But ladies and gentlemen, falling on your face is a part of the pro process. Not only that, but the sun is right there. So your destination is happiness, joy, peace, right? A feeling that, oh my God, I'm finally in my life purpose. And what is that life purpose? That life purpose is what makes your heart sing. And then not only that, but it makes you feel good. And then also at the same time, that energy is transferred to your clientele as well. So um, this uh, Ace of Swords is basically saying, Scorpio, get real clear about what it is that you wanna do that's gonna bring you outside of these wands into your happiness, following your heart. And this here, that Five of Cups, Four of Cups, as you see, it's a part of this reading. It is, a, it is a part of your process as well, okay? So get thinking, do something, make a move, move ahead, get off the couch, 
once you finish this video, right? Once you finish this video, write up a plan um, and then do something. That's the other thing too, especially with the seven of pentacles here. A lot of us Scorpios get stuck in our head. We get stuck in that planning stage. We have a project or a product or a service that has been shelved, right? Meaning it's still sitting in our brains, right? Collecting dust, yes, in your brain. And you have not moved forward with it or moved forward about it. And for uh, angels are also saying too, Seven of Pentacles also represents going back to school or, you know, um, obtaining some sort of certification or credential to help you with whatever uh, this, this reading is about for you in particular. But, you know, you have two travel cards here. You have two movement cards, especially opening up with the Knights. Those are also movement cards and saying, I feel, I feel like more than anything, the universe is saying to you, Scorpio, get moving, right? It's almost like people are not going to heal themselves or that house is not going to design itself or that car is not going to sell itself or build itself. So Scorpio, get moving. Um, the other thing too, angels wanted me to kind of come back to this as well, that four of cups um, and the five of cups. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been bored, right? A lot of you guys have been you know, your hearts are deactivated. You're bored with love. You're bored with the in and out of love. You're tired of dealing with wish-washy people, wishy-washy people. <laughs> You're tired of getting your heart broke. You're sitting around doing nothing with a broken heart. Well, angels are saying, Scorpio, there is no other sign in the Zodiac who could turn heartbreak into harvest. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, I love that. That's also what the seven of pentacles represents as well. So more than anything, this feels like get moving Scorpio. It is time. The universe is creating this beautiful sweet spot for you to be able to move into your abundance. This is the card of success and triumph and victory. And what is it paired with? Nine of pentacles, money, honey, clientele clientele, your phone ringing off the hook, emails flooding your inbox. Um, what was the other message here too? Cause it was the six of wands. Yeah. Cause the, the reading is actually going this way. Angels are saying it's time to get to start planning, get ahead and move ahead. You know, don't worry about fear, disappointment, hurt, pain, or whatever. Scorpio, you can get over that and get to the point, you know, get to your golden pot, whatever that means to you, right? Be clear about what it is that you want to give your heart, your soul, your time to, right? Your happiness is right there. It's right there. You just have to let down some of these guards. The, uh, some of those guards also include excuses, explanations. I need a website. I need, you don't need no website. You can get a Facebook page or an Instagram page. More people are going to Facebook and Instagram than they are going to websites, right? So what, what excuses are holding you back? What excuses are blocking you? What excuses are keeping you grounded? Baby, after this reading, no more excuse. Get on your horse, Scorpio, and giddy the fuck up. Okay, all right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do Angel Answers. I got to pull out my, uh, universe has your back Oracle cards. And, and I love, I love, love, love. You have fiery signs on this table. So you have Leo here. Leo is ruled by the sun, sun, biggest star in our galaxy, the lovers, Gemini, Mercury. What's the first planet that's next to the sun, Mercury, right? And then not only that, the moon cancer. Okay. So you have, <laughs> so you have the moon cancer. A lot of people don't realize the importance of our moon. Did you know that our moon actually controls earth's gravity? So if the moon wasn't up in place, you or myself may be flying around in space versus he being here planted on earth. And I don't know if flying around in space would be a bad thing at this point, but I'm just saying anyway, I feel like there, there are some significant, um, significant 
uh, planets here that's basically kind of validating and also, um, you know, kind of reiterating this message. And you know that I, now that I look at this Knight of Cups, y'all see the sun is behind me, <laughs> right? Something just said to me, yeah, look at how that card and the sun is reflecting on, on this card. And it's because the room that I'm doing these readings in now, I have a window behind me and yes, the sun is just blaring and shining through. Sometimes I want to get mad at the sun, but I can't get mad at the sun because it, it helps me live, right? If it wasn't in the sky, I'd be depressed Betty, <laughs> okay? So I hold up this, non, this Knight of Cups proudly with the sun just glaring and blaring on it, saying, Scorpio, it's your time to shine. It's time to move forward. It's time to, to make lemonade out of lemons or, or cherry pie from cherries. <laughs> Okay. All right. Anyway, <clears throat> and angels are also saying too, with that seven of pentacles, don't you dare get caught up again, son. All right, there we go. <laughs> seven of pentacles in the uh, chariot. Don't get caught up in your head, Scorpio, over planning and overthinking and over this and over that. That chariot rep represents, you already have a good idea run with it. Okay. You have the six of wands again, run with it. Two nights at the beginning of the reading, run with it. Even the little baby in the sun card on a horse, run with it. <laughs> All right. So let's see what angel answers have. And then I will close out mm, recovery. Yeah. Scorpio. Yeah. A lot of you guys are relying on again, career finances, business, because y'all are sick of love. It's like, mm, whatever. Meditation brings answers right there. Think about it, where you headed, who you deliver, who are you delivering that cup to Scorpio? Communicate clearly, clearly decide what you want and what you're going to give your heart, your soul, your energy, and your time to one more. And we'll close out. No, no more procrastinating. <laughs> I love that. That just flew out of my mouth. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Scorpio. Yes, this is your career and finance reading as promised. Um, you have a sexual reading that I'll, I'll probably release later on today. Today is Saturday, November 20th, 2021. So your uh, sexual reading will come out later in the evening, Eastern time. Scorpio, if it resonates, like, subscribe, comment. Um, and if you're interested, I'm still, ha I'm still holding business readings. Um, so if you're interested in a business reading, oh, I need to add that to Calendly. Um, if you're interested in business reading, I guess that would be considered like a specialty reading because it's 20 minutes for 50 bucks. So if you're interested in a business reading, go ahead and click the uh, about section on my channel and click schedule a reading. And I will, it right now it'll be considered that 20 minute specialty reading, but I will go ahead and include the business reading, um, uh, out there as well. Anyway, Scorpio get moving. All right. Love you. Bye.